It says here a 1929 White Prince of Windsor Roadster. I've I've never heard of it. It's a one of four. Don't know anything about these. And th that's in one of the incredible things. Wandering around the facility here, all the different buildings you have, there's just surprises everywhere. How, how many buildings are involved in this display? A well, surprise is a good word. And at one time there were over 50 buildings. I think it's down to maybe 30 now uh, because we've sold off about 1,000 vehicles, uh, mostly parts mostly parts cars. I was told by one of your staff earlier that you actually just located a bunch of cars in a building in Olympia that, that sort of got lost in the shuffle. They, they didn't know that this was part of the collection and suddenly you have even more cars? <laughs> That's news. I, know, uh -huh. I hadn't even known that, but it's no surprise. Huh. You know, we pulled uh, a number of cars a few years ago out of a barn in Kansas where he had bought some cars at an auction, had no way to transport them, bought the barn. And I still think that we'll get a phone call someday, you know, from Iowa yeah, or get something. Get your cars out of here. The building we're in, this has a pretty interesting history. Harold ran out of room at his house. Nancy says she's got the only house in America, five-bedroom house with a 350-car garage. <laughs> yeah. That's how they started collecting. He ran out of space, so he bought this Marymount Academy, which was a military academy and was also a convent at one time. And so we're in the uh, main hall of the academy. It's called LeMay Hall now, and he stuffed it with cars. So there used to be either a lot of guys marching around here in, in uniforms or, or uh, nuns? or Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I mean, there's a beautiful old chapel in the facilities, and, and it's still used by church groups from time to time. And another end of the building, I noticed you have a whole bunch of cars. Can we go look at those? You bet. All right.